celebrity, a Wesley Chapel woman, hoping that driving around town could be the key to finding her a kidney donor. And as ABC Action News reporter Jasmine Stiles tells us here tonight, this is not her first time around the block. I know what it's like being on the other side of this. Kidney disease is not a new journey for Brittany Hutchinson. She was diagnosed at eight years old and received a kidney back in 2010, where doctors told her it would last at least nine years. But that wasn't the case. Back in October of 2018, I just started swelling up, feeling very fatigued. I knew there was something wrong. After what she thought was the end of the road, Hutchinson was back to square one, doing dialysis twice a day and waiting for another transplant, along with more than 107,000 others. So she turned to social media. I shared it with the Wesley Chapel Facebook community page, and people saw the need. And in May, Patsy Nielsen saw it. You know, I commented on her status, and I said, hey, do you have a decal? Thanks to Nielsen, now she does. You may remember her from stories we did last year when the decal Nielsen put on her car helped her husband find a living donor a few months later. Now she's paying it forward. I want somebody to feel what we felt and what we still feel to this day. Hutchinson and her mom are the latest to be on the receiving end of Nielsen's decals. She says between lots of positive interactions on social media and around the neighborhood, she believes a second kidney will come her way. The way we go through things like this determine the outcome. So for me, positive mindset, positive results. In Wesley Chapel, I'm Jasmine Stiles, ABC Action News.